Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Get yourself a doggy <laughs> who's going to protect you from the maintenance man like Evie is right now. <laughs> This is where I'm at with my hair. I'm just gonna wear a beanie. Look at my hair. Um, had kind of a wild day. We find, sorry, I just checked you. We found, we realized that James has bottom molars that were coming through, which explains some recent, um. Sadness in his life. <laughs> yeah, some frustration and sadness in his life. Mm -hmm. um, but we that's can... good. <laughs> Work ended up He's snoozing, so he's, yeah, we should have work ended up crazy in the later half of the day. Mm -hmm. Plus, we had maintenance come by because we didn't even tell you guys yesterday or two, two days, ago, days ago. Two days ago, all of a sudden, in our bathroom, water just started pouring from the ceiling light fixture and it then through parts insane. of the ceiling. We were like, and it's like we have radiator heat, so I was thinking like there's a radiator in our bathroom, and I'm assuming that there's one in the above bathroom. And so I was like, the curious unit above us. it was that, and like that kind of felt like a big deal to me, like a potentially the water's like, pouring big through the issue. ceiling. Yeah, um, but we found out that the bathtub upstairs was clogged and was overflowing two nights ago. So maybe that's why our main. Oh, like their bathtub was overflowing. Yeah. Oh. That's or like wouldn't the the faucet wouldn't stop or something. That's why. But like they fixed <laughs> that unit, but they didn't tell us that. But they also didn't respond. So we were like. Kind of so hung we, up to dry, so we weren't happy about that. It happened late, two nights ago. It, so like we, it wasn't like the normal hours. Right. So then they, but that was fixed. Yeah, well, they fixed good. it today. They came back and painted some spots and patched some things. So that was a little wild. I have video of it. But yeah, we're gonna go to Wrigleyville Chris Kendall Market because we just kind of zipped through it the other day, mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're gonna do. I have to go on a four mile run tonight. Yeah. Um, Kind of our last day at home before, like, true yes. Thanksgiving yes. prep yes. and yes. fun yes. Yes. starts. Yes. 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 What do you do when your baby's hurting from teething? You build towers for them to, to knock over. This, this, this. This, this, this. Yeah. You got buzz in there. Cricket? Oh, yeah. All right, for dinner, I am making our Green Chef Smoky Mesco cauliflower. This is our last one from our first box, and we get our next box tomorrow. So that timing worked out great for us. So let's had a bit of prep work to start with. Chopped up some red potatoes. There's dried apricots that are soaking so that it just must be better to like transport dry and then bring them back to life. Cut up cauliflower, chopped up some chives, and chopped up some kale. Alrighty, we got our potatoes and cauliflower in and seasoned on the right. There is like smoky style seasoning on the potatoes and the cauliflower has paprika on it. Salt and pepper on both as well. Sauteed up the roasted red peppers. Ooh, and my timer's done with kale and apricots and hazelnuts. And I have feta in mine. Peter does not, because he is not a feta fan. And I'm also starting a little bowl for Jamesy too. And now we are all dished up. The cauliflower got an extra coating with this like red pepper, apple cider vinegar. Really good, and then chives added to the potatoes. Peter thinks he's doing it with his Chicago Marathon glass. Ew. Can I have some dinner? All right, we are out and about, all bundled up after a delicious dinner. We it was are, really good. Was. It was one of like a recipe that like I would never come up with myself. Yeah. But now like, we can replicate. Yeah, it was good. Or modify. Yeah. Uh, we're running to Whole Foods to get some shampoo. 
And I want to look for turkey butter. My mom would like, yes. it's not butter made from well, turkey. We also need mixed nuts. Oh yeah. It's just butter in the shape of a turkey. I haven't been able to find it. Yeah. My mom just- You put it out on Thanksgiving morning just and knew... then you massacre it. Right. Chop its head off and put that on a piece of a loaf or something. My mom knew where to get all the special stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna run a quick errand before we go play the Wrigleyville Christmas Market. Peter looked like Krista. He got, got a cool ball. head. <laughs> it's so cozy. Yeah. And Daisy got a little. A little guy. Is this a sea lion or a seal? It's a seal. So it is cool that there are so many different booths here than there are downtown. There's coffee cake and licorice. Hi. We got Bob's Belgium hot chocolate. We'll get some before the season's over, that's for certain. And then we've got some pink glass ornaments, handcrafted, and over a thousand years old. Milwaukee Pretzel Company is something we're definitely gonna have to come back to. Bavarian style soft pretzels. They have a garlic parsley that just looks like divinity. Look at this. So we were talking to, I love this hat, first of all. Second of all, we were talking to the, I think we showed you the, uh, what was that string stuff called? The candy, the liquors. We we're looking at talking to the liquors company, and they decided since we do fundraisers, and so it's a. They said it's pretty simple. There's an online form and everything, so I have to look into that, and then they ship nationwide. So we might be doing um, some liquorish sales, and it was really good. I tried the classic, like black anise, and it was very, very. Good. I thought Sarah was right behind me, but I turned around and she wasn't. Just talking to the glazed peanut stand. So we actually have. This little nativity, this is the company that makes them. I'm not sure if they have a website or not, but they're always at these kinds of events. But they have all different kinds of products, really, really cool. We've had ours for years and it's the music box still works. It's really great quality. This one's really cute too. We're making our way back home and look at our neighborhood's fancy lights. You like it? <laughs> yes. This is Jamesy's first viewing of Greatest Showman, and he's already. Look at his hair. Had hair. Look at this. <laughs> um, I'm about to go get changed and get ready to go to the gym to go run, but I wanted to show you this cool flyer for Fonz. Plant-based empanadas and drinks. Look at those. If you saw that that was in the uh, montage from earlier, I got a tinga, which is like jackfruit and rice. Um, they got one in Lincoln Park, uh, 2566 North Clark Street, and Dr. Murphy's Food Hall on Harrison Street. So I'm gonna go to the actual place so we can actually try it. But the one I had at Chris Kinnan Market, pretty solid. I don't remember taking off my headband. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Peter has gone to the gym. James is down. It is actually a lot later than I expected, but just with like big emotions today for James E with those teeth. And I just feel like he's just growing. Um, I just wanted to like soak in some peaceful snuggle time with him. So I'm starting editing a little bit later and I do need a little <laughs> sneaky snack 
Um, and I wanted to show you guys something that we got at the Chris Candle Market. So we got these nuts to go. You can see their website there if you're interested in ordering. Um, this is like a mix of like all six of the different nuts that they roast. Which is like a pretty common like Christmas market thing to buy. I feel like I always got them at Navy Pier roasted nuts. And so it felt like a Chicago thing, but like, I think it's just like a festival thing. What is cool about this company though, is they do a vanilla glaze on theirs, or they do a whiskey glaze, which is what we got. And obviously everything's cooked out and whatnot. Um, but it just gives like a little bit different of a flavor of something that like we know so well. And the people that work there, they was, were super cool. And they're on Instagram and they have their little website. So we just thought that we would share the love about them. Um, they're so good. They they do like the individual like pecans, walnuts. I don't know all six. The website will say it. But then we got like a mix of all of them. And it's just so good. Whew. We're out of here. Four miles done. Um, we got eight tomorrow and four on Thursday into um, another Orange Theory on Friday morning. I have to, I just forgot, I just didn't check the schedule or like the hours to see what time. I think they're closed on Thanksgiving, so I might have to get creative. I might just have to suit up and, I haven't looked at the weather, but I might just have to suit up and run the four miles outside, um, which I should be able to do that during the daylight hours. Which right now, even though it's cold, it's not like the icy frigidness. I just don't like running in the dark here on the lakefront. Um, so if I can run Thursday before we go Thursday Thanksgiving, hmm. I'll figure this out in my head somehow. You know, I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm going to get something in here for Sarah because she's just the best. I also love going in public places when I'm covered in sweat with crazy hair and a soaking mask. I just, you know, I'm ridiculous like that sometimes. I feel like I re reiterate this every year. My family not just my immediate family, but my whole extended family would give a lot of money to CRMS if they would just widespread distribute CRMS Cranberry Edition. Please. I almost drove three hours the other night to Milwaukee, not past Milwaukee, to go get it. But I conceded. I got 7-Up Cranberry. It's good, it's just, it's not Sierra Mist Cranberry. Look at what this Prince Charming just brought home. It's our kiss anniversary tomorrow. Is it? Mm hmm. Well, good thing I got you cranberry. <laughs> this is the main event. Oh, it's Canada Dry. I said in my last clip it was 7 Up. It's like ginger ale plus cranberry. Yeah, but it's not Sandmist, so. It's okay. We have some things shipped to us Are from. Are holding my dad in the family? Just my sister. Okay, well. Tell her that it got lost. I feel like people don't understand. Like three years ago, when I found it on the PepsiCo product finder, one year in Florida, I sent a list of addresses to Sarah's cousins, and they went and got it for the rest of the family. It's like, a big I think deal. Eight two liters were bought at one point. Well, we also found some at Publix. I know, and we brought it up. Remember? Yeah. It's I a big remember deal. when I was drove past Milwaukee the other night. Mm-hmm. I'm sweaty, and I have to come up with a solution to being sweaty in a jacket that I don't want to get sweaty. Ooh. Yes, so it is true. One of you very special people found it for us in rural Minnesota, Minnesota at Walmart. So maybe Walmart will be successful elsewhere. Yeah, but not so here, we'll... I checked all the Walmart websites. And the I just feel like because the PepsiCo finder says it's not anywhere, but it was found somewhere, that anything is possible. Are you fresh? It's good to be home. <gasps> You've been doing that a lot lately. Joking at the side off? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get a haircut so bad. <laughs> Rob <Goya. laughs> Sarah, she knows that's what like she needs to say to just get me into the barber. Oh, with the pro. Eve started eating our roasted nuts. <laughs> Speaking of Eve, 
we didn't take her to the vet today. We're taking her tomorrow. So hopefully that goes well. Hopefully it's a quick turnaround. Yeah, it should be. It is good to be home. I can, I can say it now. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.